G'day everyone, Tim from vMix here, and today we're looking at the Elgato HD60S Plus on this episode of Will It Work With vMix? The answer to question 26 might shock you. So let's get to it. Does vMix support the Elgato HD60S Plus? Yes. The Elgato HD60S Plus is a USB 3 capture device that allows you to connect one HDMI video source to use in your production with vMix. It also has a HDMI loop through that you can use however you like. Maybe plug it into a monitor, a recorder, or even another production. It's not a will it work with vMix video without actually using the product. That's right, actually using the product. So we've connected up our Panasonic GH5 camera and set it to output 1080 2997p via HDMI. Then we plug that into the Elgato HD60S Plus and then into the studio PC via USB 3. Then I've added it into my vMix production as my second camera. Now, as you can see here in the preview window, I have the video coming in through from the GH5 and into the Elgato. So I've gone to the add input menu and I've added the Elgato as a camera source. Now I'm gonna blow this up a bit here. So as you can see on the left-hand side of the device, we can't really see that, so let's just move this over a bit. All right, so I've just moved that over a bit. Uh, so as you can see on the left-hand side of the device, we have the HDMI source coming from the camera, and that's plugged in on the left. Then we've got the USB 3 cable coming from the Elgato, and that's going into the PC. Then I'm able to add that into my vMix production. Now on the right, you'll see the HDMI cable, and that is accessing the loop through from the camera and that's going to the Elgato and then into the Blackmagic Video Assist via HDMI. So you can use the camera as an input into vMix and also use the HDMI video loop through to send the video via HDMI to another device. Now, as I mentioned before, I have the GH5 set up for 1080 2997. However, the device also supports up to 1080 60 and 4K 30. Real talk, Sometimes it can be difficult to find and buy capture devices. Actually, I don't think anyone says real talk anymore, so apologies for that. I don't know what, what I was thinking with it. Um, anyway, so a lot of the time you can't just walk into a shop and buy a capture device, especially if you're not in a big city. What if it's 4 p.m. on a Saturday afternoon and you have to do a stream on Sunday morning and you need a capture device? What do you do? Well, Elgato devices can typically be found at electronic stores, which is really convenient. We had someone actually ask about this particular device here on three o'clock, I think on Friday afternoon. So I was able to jump into my car, drive down to the shopping center and pick one up from the local JB Hi-Fi all within about 30 minutes. So I've also bought the Elgato gear from places like Best Buy in the US. It means that you can go to a retail store and actually buy one whenever you need it. These new HD60S Plus devices are plug and play as they're using UVC drivers which makes them easier to use than the HD60S. The HD60S Plus replaces the HD60S model. So if you have the option, go with the HD60S Plus as it's easier to set up. Now, if I have to say HD60S one more time today, I think I'm gonna have a problem. Okay, so these devices are good for laptop productions or if you're looking to quickly add an additional source to your PC and you've maxed out your capture card ports. If you're only new to streaming and you're only looking to add one camera, then this is a good way to get into live streaming because they're a little bit more affordable than other devices. If you're doing a lot of productions, it's always also handy to have a USB 3 capture device like this Elgato or a Magewell, Evermedia, Yuan or AJA um, you never know when you're going to quickly need uh, an extra camera or a monitor source in your production. Thanks for joining us today on this episode of Will It Work with vMix or Weelv. We test a lot of different hardware with vMix to make sure that users get the best experience and we only include equipment on our huge list if it passes our tests. If you want to see what capture devices, cameras and controllers work best with vMix, just head to vmix.com and go to our supported hardware page. If you have any questions about vmix, send us through an email via vmix.com as it's a whole lot easier answering technical questions via email as opposed to YouTube comments. Through email, we can get diagnostic reports from vmix 
so we can see what might be happening in your production. Thanks for watching and we'll stream you later. Thanks for watching. Click to watch another exciting vMix video or head to vmix.com for a free 60-day trial. See you later.